Hey guys, how's it going? This is another war recap. I'm guessing it's number seven. I'm presuming it is. We were against the Dodgers. We were playing Clash of Clans though. It wasn't baseball. Let's go into it. We won 74 to 54. First replay, as always, going to be most heroic attack. This time it's performed by Ivan, using those level four hard riders at Town Hall 8. Doing a great job of farming that Dark Elixir, as always, Ivan. Nice job. And he's learned how to play Castle Troops, which you always want to do with the Hall Riders, because those wizards are going to mess you up. And he's bringing them to the right corner of the map with that archer. Ooh, ooh, there's a Valkyrie. That might be a pain in the butt to get rid of. We'll have to see how he does it, though. Looks like he's gonna circle the clan castle troops with archers though. Places some wizards. That wizard is doing far too little on the Valkyrie though. Oh, there they go. They got him. Okay. Valkyrie, out of the way. He's all clear to get in here with the Slaughter Riders. Let's see where he goes in at. Oh! Ooh, looks like he's going in from the left side and the bottom. Spreading out the hogs is always a good idea. That way you get the maximum defensive coverage on the map. That probably made no sense. But you get the gist of what I'm trying to say here. Some of the hog riders are going into the center. Took out one crossbow. Just huge crossbows are a pain in the butt when you are attacking. Hog riders are going around though. He has the majority of defense is get gotten rid of. And oh that giant bomb. <laughs> Dang. Okay, that giant bomb shredded the rest of his hog riders. So now he's relying on his king and a select number of wizards to get this two star. He could pull it out though. I believe in him. All he has to do is get rid of that one little archer queen. Shouldn't be too hard with all these wizards. Uses the ability to fight through that wall with the King Caesar. The King Caesar, he's going after a lady. Can he do it though? Oh, all oh, the wizards. I forgot about the wizards. They are going to wreck house. The crossbow locked onto the king. And let's see. Let's get a close up right here. Wizards and king versus the crossbow see how it works out here they go they're in they're going for it they're going for that two star that town hall might give them the two star oh town hall give them both stars and the king's down unfortunately i don't think two wizards and a couple of archers are getting rid of the rest of the base so that's gonna do it for this raid Congrats to Ivan for making the most heroic attack, and that was a really good raid. Should look at that raid when you're trying to do hog riders, probably. What the heck is this guy using? Oh, before we go any further into this, this is the most heroic defense. The defender is Redneck. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. So he's going in with like 8 hog riders, 12 giants, 2 healers, a dragon. Maybe two dragons, probably two dragons. Yeah, I'd say two dragons. A couple minions, some wizards, like a lightning, a heal, a rage, and a freeze. He didn't even have five, five spells. That's really funny right there. <laughs> uh, so he's in. His, <laughs> uh, he has like one giant left. He has a couple wizards. His heroes. <laughs> Uh, it, some of these defenses, when you're fighting in Clan Wars, can be really funny to watch, you know? Like, you're just sitting down on your couch and you're bored. Watch a couple defenses. <laughs> you might get a kick out of them. But still, he almost gets this 50%. If his king, if it's king, if his queen followed the king, he might just have gotten it. But as you see here, three defenses hammering on that king. He's going down, no matter what kind of ability he has. And those puny little barbarians, they are doing nothing. But why would there be 20 seconds left once his troops are all dead? Oh, oh, lightning spell. 
probably won't use it though. That'd just be a little silly. So, yeah, not looking too good on lightning spell situation. So 43%. Nice base redneck. Hopefully that was the only time you were attacked in this war. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You get the gist of how good redneck space is there. Moving on to the third replay, it's Jaja -Ja going in with a Town Hall 8 Go Wipe. Spreads out his golems near perfectly. And as you can see, golems aren't affected by spring traps. Which, that's a good feature because if golems were affected by spring traps, oh boy. That's a waste of Dark Elixir and army camp space right there. Oh, perfect. That was amazing. Pekka drop. Droppage. That's a word, probably. So Pekka's going right in for that town hall. Another rage in the core. Get rid of all the high health point buildings. And he still has all three Pekkas almost full health. His king is about at half, but if he uses the ability correctly, he can get the king back up to just about full health. So, 50 per... 50 percent. I meant, like... 45 seconds left in this replay and all defenses are gone so all we're fighting for now is the 100% against the rest of these outlying buildings oh there's a builder set on the bottom you can kind of see it it's hard though hopefully there aren't any more of those because if there are who he might be in for a treat he's hopefully there's only that one his king's going up top though. Oh, it's towards the dark barrack. So we're gonna zoom out here, see? Oh, oh, he destroyed the one on the left. That's good. I don't remember there being one on the top. Oh, that giant bomb. <laughs> Jokes. Uh, just tickles the rest of his army. Really good job, Jaja. -Ja. Everybody give him a pat on the pack if you ever find him. Probably won't, but you know. You get the idea, Jaja. -Ja. Did an amazing job with that. We're gonna expect some more of those in the future from him. On to the final raid of this war recap video. Soul Pros Gamer going in with the max level Hog Riders. As usual, he's really good with the Hog Riders in our clan, in case you didn't know. He used three of them, probably. I think it was three. Hog Riders to lure out the clan castle troops, brings them to the corner with a couple wizards. And now he's going to use his clan castle against the opponent's clan castle. And since all those archers are backed up in the corner, that one wizard almost takes them all out. But luckily he had a level 6 wizard in his clan castle. So he's good. Hog Riders going in. Going in. Heal. First heal spell has been deployed. Folks. But that giant bomb... That giant bomb takes out quite a bit of health from the bottom hog riders. We'll see if that king can finish him off. So we have two more heal spells left. <laughs> Majority of the defenses are down. He has just the ones in the bottom. And that one Tesla up top to go. 50%? That's what we're looking for here. Saving that last healing spell. Oh, oh that giant bomb. So this is the last defense going down. Uses the heal spell because the king's pounding on him. Oh, oh, dang. The archer queen might just take out all of his hog riders. We'll have to see though. Hog riders, will they go into the town hall or the queen? They're going in for the town hall, guys. Let's see if they can do this. They might, if there's enough of them. They got it below half, but they're slowing down. Last one. Not, not looking too good on the hog rider side of things. Oh, but look at this. Soul's queen is going after but the Felton's queen. And he has the ability, so that queen is getting out of there. So hopefully this queen here, level 10, goes for the town hall, which she does. So that guarantees the two star since there's no more defenses. All we're doing now is praying that we have enough time to get rid of these storages. Now the storages are one of the biggest health point buildings in the game. So I mean, it's not looking too good with only like 22 seconds left. 
but I mean he might be able to pull a fast one on us. We'll have to see. Oh, by the way, I forgot to ask last video, but how do you guys feel about the background music? Um, I kind of like it, but is it like too quiet? Is it too loud? Is my voice too loud? You know, I'm a little new to this. I'm using new software. I just want your feedback. Anyways, back to the video. Soul Pros did an amazing job. Only got the two star, but I mean, just know for next time. And that should wrap it up for the replays. Now let's just go back and check out the official stats for this victory of ours. We used three more attacks than them, but we lost less attacks than them. So we did really good at attacking. As you can see, we had zero one stars and 18 three stars. That's right, 18 three stars. That's a lot. And 92.1 average destruction, so basically every single one of our attacks did amazing, phenomenal. But that is our victory against the Dodgers. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If not, then that's okay. I don't really care. See you later.